Number 32. Calculate the approximate number of atoms in a bacterium. Assume that the average mass of an atom in the bacterium is 10 times the mass of a hydrogen atom. So they give us the mass of the hydrogen atom, right? It's 10 raised to the negative 27 kilograms. And then they also give us the mass of the bacterium, and it's 10 raised to the negative 5 kilograms. Okay, so let's take this, uh, let's take this in pieces. So let's first uh, find out. I know we're looking for the number of atoms in a bacterium, right? So we're going to have this bacterium. This whole bacterium is going to have a certain mass, right? Its mass will equal question mark. And it will also have a certain number of atoms within it, right? So let's draw these little circles. They'll all represent atoms. Now each atom has a mass, right? So all these atoms have a mass as well. So the mass of an atom, right, in the bacterium is we don't know at the moment. Um, but we do know the mass of the whole bacterium, right? Uh, it gave it to us if we look right here. So the mass of the whole uh, bacterium is 10 raised to the negative 5 kilograms. Okay, so I actually do know um, this mass. So let me just erase this unknown here. Um, so the mass here will be equal, and I'll just put it in a different color, uh, 10 raised to the negative 15 kilograms. Okay, so, and they also tell us that the mass, they also give us the mass of this hydrogen atom, right? And they say that the average mass of a single atom in the bacterium is 10 times the mass of the hydrogen atom. So, the mass of the hydrogen atom, as they had given to us here, is 10 raised to the negative 27 kilograms. Now, if I take that value and multiply it by 10, right, this should then, and this is kilograms per atom, by the way, if I take that value and multiply it by 10, I should get the, now, 10 raised uh, to the negative 26 kilograms per atom, and I'll just add one word here, per atom of bacterium. Right? This ratio on the left-hand side was per atom of hydrogen. Okay, so this makes sense. So now here is the average mass of an atom um, that's found within a, within a bacterium. So now, knowing this ratio and also knowing the total mass of the bacterium itself, could we now find the number of atoms? Well, I think we can, right? What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this um, ratio here and I'm just going to flip it. Okay, so I put the atoms of the bacterium on top. Okay, so let me do that uh, right down here. So for every one atom that's found in the bacterium, its weight is 10 raised to the negative 26 kilograms. Now, if I take this ratio and I multiply it then by the mass of the whole bacterium, right, which was 10 raised to the negative 15 kilograms, that will now tell me the number of atoms because notice the kilograms will cancel. And therefore, the only unit that's left would be atoms of bacterium. So that's the unit that I'm going to write down over here, atoms of the bacterium. And now all I have to do is take 10 raised to the negative 15 and divide it by and divide it by 10 raised to the negative 26. And that gives me 1 times 10 to the 11, right? Atoms of bacterium. And in, in other words, you don't need the 1, right? It's just 10 to the 11 atoms of bacterium. And this should make sense, right? There should be a whole bunch of atoms within that um, single bacterium. Guys, thank you for checking out this video. Hope it helped. Please subscribe.